The latest on space weather, Christmas geomagnetic storms are due from multiple M-class solar flares and they're going to be glancing blows on our Earth today and on Christmas, according to the latest on space weather. And uh, from our sunspots, AR2907-2908 have beta, gamma, magnetic fields that harbor energy for M-class solar flares. Now, the M-class solar flares, we have classifications of X-ray solar flares. A solar flare is an explosion of the sun that happens when energy stored in twisted magnetic fields, usually above the sunspots, is suddenly released. Flares produce a burst of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to X-rays and gamma rays. Scientists classify solar flares according to their X-ray brightness in the wavelength ranging 1 to 8 angstroms. And there are three categories. X-class flares are big. They are major events that can trigger planet-wide radio blackouts and long-lasting radiation storms. And M-class flares, this is the class that we're talking about in this case, they're medium-sized. They can cause brief radio blackouts that affect Earth's polar regions. Minor radiation storms sometimes follow an M-class flare. Compared to X and M-class events, the C-class flares are small with few noticeable consequences here on Earth. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So each category for X-ray flares has nine subdivisions ranging from C1 to C9, M1 to M9, and X1 to X9. And it's a logarithmic scale. M1 is 10 times stronger than C1. So this is what we're here having in this case, M-class solar flare. And now, uh, according to Space Weather, the uh, Christmas geomagnetic storms, multiple M-class solar flares, it's not just one, multiple solar flares this week have hurled at least two faint CMEs towards Earth. NOAA forecast models predict glancing blows today and on the 25th. The impacts, albeit weak, could combine to produce G1-class geomagnetic storms and high altitude auroras, that means northern lights, southern lights. G1 geomagnetic storm impacts, power systems, weak power grid fluctuations can occur, spacecraft operations, minor impact on satellite operations possible, and other systems, migratory animals are affected at this and higher levels, and auroras are commonly visible at high altitudes, for example, Michigan and Maine. Now, we also have Comet Leonard. Uh, Comet Leonard is C2021A1. He, it's become so bright that we can see it on the west of Venus. It's now being photographed by uh, accident. Last night, Frankie Lucena looked through Gemini observation cloud camp photos and saw sprites over Hawaii. And, of course, Comet Leonard. Venus and Saturn are also present, and so it was pretty, he said, cool combination of celestial delights. Comet Leonard experienced an outburst on December 20th. Something happened inside the comet's core, causing it to brighten 10 times more. And this comes as no surprise. The comet is heading for its closest approach to the sun on January 3rd, and Comet Leonard is feeling the heat with new jets of gas and dust erupting from the comet's core. And more outbursts could be in the offing, Astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere have the best view of Comet Leonard climbing higher in the austral summer skies, and the comet is currently shining like a fourth magnitude star, barely visible to the unaided eye, but an easy target for backyard telescopes. So this is what's happening uh, in the next few days. Also, we had All Sky Fireball Network reporting today, well, yesterday, Network 13 fireballs heading into Earth. Every night, a network of NASA all-sky cameras scans the skies above the United States for meteoric fireballs. Automated software maintained by NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office calculates their orbits, velocity, penetration depth into Earth's atmosphere, and many other characteristics. 
and daily results are presented here on space weather. So near Earth asteroids, the, the next one is tomorrow. It's asteroid 2021YB. It will be 1.4 lunar distances from us and coming in at a velocity of 5.8 kilometers a second, diameter of about 33 feet. So this is the latest on space weather. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.